Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're passing by or you're new here, thank you for checking out a video. I'm Jordan. Um, today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a typical day for weight loss and just trying to be healthy, whether it is you're trying to put on muscle or lose weight or whatever part of your fitness journey you're in. Um, I am still trying to lose about 10 pounds by the end of the year, so I've been keeping my eating motorcycle. I've uh, been keeping my eating routine every day as clean as possible. I do like cheat here and there, but I used to do full days of eating all the time and I know that you guys really liked those. Those are some of the videos I find the most interesting when I, whenever I come across like new channels or that's something I'll typically search. So I know recently I've done a lot of meal prep videos which will last you throughout the week, but I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a really long time. So that was like one of the number one video requests this past week on Snapchat and they're really fun for me to film as well. So I was excited to film that today for you guys. So yeah, I'll just keep my intro short. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a full day. Some of the stuff was prepped for the previous week. I would prep, you guys already know this, I prep my rice and everything like that in big bowls in the fridge already. So some of it I'll show you that I had already prepped. I'll just take a portion of that and I'll be making like my meals. This is actually what I'm about to have right now for lunch. Um, so yeah, I've realized too in some of my meal videos, my lighting in the kitchen is not the best. Even if I move my studio lights in there, it's still very orange. So I took most of the meals and the stuff that I was making and I came and put it over on this table. So you're gonna have like a little different view for this video, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into what a typical day of eating looks like for me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new, I would love if you would subscribe to just check out my uh, future, what am I saying? Okay, check out my future near, no, okay. Should I cut this out? Okay, check out my new videos in the near future. There we go. I love you guys, let's get into this. All right, so first up before breakfast, I have a huge glass of water with ice, half a lemon in it, and then a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Try to do this every morning. Um, sometimes I will have some tea. My favorite is the Fit Life. I've shown that on my channel multiple times. Sometimes I'll have it at night as well. Um, but usually in the mornings I'll post on Snapchat my little like drink concoction and that's what I have. So here for breakfast I'm going to go in with these Vans gluten-free waffles. I love these. You guys can get these at Target. They're usually on sale for two packs for five bucks. And I usually get like the blueberry or the strawberry flavor. Um, they're really good. So instead of just eating the waffles plain, I like to do a little waffle like mash that you'll see here. Which tastes so bomb. And you can totally like customize this and add in whatever you like. But today I was doing some frozen strawberries, which I microwaved for about 45 seconds. As you can see right there, I think I did a little bit more than like half a cup and I just dumped those in. I'm basically creating my own like waffle, like chocolatey waffle goodness that you could like usually get at a restaurant. I'm adding a few chocolate chips there. And then I'm also going to add some cinnamon, which again, I've shown in like so many videos. That's just something I really like. Um, and then I'm also gonna add a few apple slices. I totally was gonna add whipped cream or some kind of Cool Whip on top of this for the video, but I completely forgot to get that at the store the other day, but that would taste so bomb if you guys put that on top. So I just mix everything around together, and then I'll just usually have my breakfast with some water, and this is so good. I'm telling you guys, like, it's amazing. You can put any kind of like chocolate or caramel on top. Of course, don't go too crazy if you're trying to like lose weight, but I had a few chocolate chips, it was all good. And then I do have my Bliss and Thyro Drive, which you guys know, 30 minutes before lunch. So I took those, and then for lunch, I'm making a whole wheat pasta bowl, like mixture thing, um, which is really, really good. So I had meal prepped some pasta earlier in the week, so I'm just putting whatever amount of noodles into the bowl that I thought I was gonna eat. I don't do too much pasta because I do top it off with a ton of veggies and stuff. So as you can see here, I'm doing broccoli. And then what else was I putting in there? Um, yeah, just a bunch of broccoli. And also you'll see here in a minute, I'm gonna go in with some of these Mazetta olives. If you've already been watching my channel a while, you know I am obsessed with olives and that's something my son loves as well. These ones here are the blue cheese stuffed olives, which are bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, you guys can find these at any local grocery store around you. Um, they have tons of different types of olives to suit anyone's taste, which is great. I'll show you another can of their olives here in a second. So I'm just adding in some corn and some kidney beans and I believe that was the last ingredient for my lunch. Yeah, just mixing everything up together. Just kind of like a little pasta, veggie, bean type of bowl situation. Tastes really good and it's super filling. Um, then later in the day for a snack, I'm just having fruit because I'm super basic and you guys know like I'm always snacking on fruit on Snapchat. Um, and I just take it in a little bag to go because I had to go pick up my little man from preschool. As you can see, my water is like almost gone. I drink like four or five of those a day. And then for lunch, I had already meal prepped this little concoction here. So I took some of it out of this container. It's green beans, 
rice, and then also garbanzo beans. So again, this is all, this meal right here is all completely vegan as well. Um, it's a really good meal, again, super cheap. All those ingredients were a dollar from the 99 cent store, and I'm just mixing up however much I think I would wanna eat. I'm gonna add a few more things on top. So I'm using more of the Mazetta olives. This time I'm gonna use the Calmada pitted olives, which taste really good as well. I'm um, just gonna put a few of those on top to kind of add some taste. And I just like those because you can definitely tell that they're more like high quality rather than just like a can of olives from the dollar store. These are something that I personally just like to add in for taste. Um, they do sell olives and they also sell pickled vegetable products as well. And you guys can find all their stuff just at any local grocery store near you. Um, so then I'm adding in some baby tomatoes because we know I love those. I use those in meal preps all the time. Popping some on there. And what else? Oh, here we go. Soy sauce. I love that. You guys know that. I think that's it. Yeah, we're good to go. Just another little like bowl mash situation. I love making these because they're really filling and they're so healthy. So yeah, that was my entire dinner. And I did meal prep extra of this for the week. So I really liked this meal. Um, if you guys have never thought about like mixing these specific ingredients together, make sure that you give it a try. And let me know on like social media if you like the way it turned out. Then later on for dinner, um, I was having a little bit of this Halo Top birthday cake ice cream, which is amazing and so low in calories. My son ended up having this little Ben and Jerry's one, which is the same amount of calories, but for such a smaller uh, pack, like it's crazy. So Halo Top is a really, really good um, calorie option for the entire pint for 280 calories. So yeah, that was everything that I ate in one entire full day. I did also have a soy yogurt with some of those frozen strawberries thrown in for another snack in the afternoon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can click the screen right now to check out another video. This is some stuff that I meal prepped, and I hope you guys will subscribe, and I will see you next time.